What's up guys, welcome back to another Python tutorial. Today you're going to learn how to make Alexa. It's really cool and I can't wait to get to it, so let's get straight to it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, open up PyCharm. So you go ahead and do that. And after you do that, you need to create a new file, file, new. Call it a Python file, so it takes all whatever we need. And then name it whatever you want. I named it Alexa slash YouTube, but you can just name it Alexa, Siri, whatever you want it. And then after that, we need to download this thing called Speech Recognition Python. So if you just put that in your search bar, this will come up. And then, uh, as I said before, if you just copy whatever comes up here and put it in your terminal. Terminal pip install speak, speech recognition it says requirement already satisfied for me because i already downloaded it and but you have to download it now and it might take longer for you so after we download it we can actually use it now so we have to import it import speech recognition and we don't want it to we don't want to keep on saying speech recognition, speech recognition every time we use it. So we're going to keep it simple and do it as SR. So then we're going to create this thing called the listener. And then this is going to equal SR.recognizer. So it's going to, because it's if the listener is what's going to listen to our voice and give us the feedback. And then we're going to use a try block because we might cause it might cause something if something goes wrong that's what we need to do use the try block and then with the sr dot microphone as source so as i said as just basically uh, tells the computer that the sr microphone is basically the source so then what we're gonna do is voice Don't forget to put that code there. So voice is gonna equal listener dot listen to our source. So the SR microphone is the input that we're putting into our uh, computer. And then the voice is what's gonna create the variable called voice. And the listener is gonna listen to the source, which is our microphone. So, and here you can just put pass because we're not going to put anything in the except box. And then, and then we're going to create this thing called command. Command equals listener dot recognize read. Listener dot recognize Google. And, and then we're going to put voice through here. Because the uh, because recognize Google, it's basically gonna convert it into text, and yeah, that's what the Google API does. That, and then we're gonna print the command so we know that we know that it worked and uh, Alexa understood it. And before we run, let's print uh like hello. Hello, what, or let's just say hello, I am lis listening. Okay, so let's run it. Oh yeah, you have to put these things in this. And hello, Alexa. See, it says, hello, Alexa, here. And yeah, so we know that it recognized our voice, so that's a good sign. Let's run it again. Yo, Alexa. Oh, wait. What's up? See, it says it. So yeah, that's the first main component of Alexa, understanding what we say and interpreting, interpreting it and then giving us feedback and doing what we say. So without any delay, let's get straight to that. 
Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is make Alexa only talk when we want, when we say Alexa, because if we don't say Alexa, we don't want it to respond. So if we go down here and say command, command equals command dot lower, because we want everything to be lowercase, because if we accident, if uh, the computer accidentally understands that the a in the alexa is an uppercase uh that won't matter so then we're going to do if alexa in command then we want it to print the command because if not then we don't want it to do anything so let's run this what's up See, it doesn't do anything, but if I do Alexa, what's Alexa, what's up? See, now it says Alexa, what's up? So how cool is that? You can make it only say, uh, you can make it only respond to you. So that's the, another, uh, that's another part of actually building Alexa. And yeah, now what we have to do is make basically let Alexa talk back to us. So let's do that. Okay, to make Alexa actually talk to us, uh, we need to import this thing called Python text-to-speech where I talked about it in my last video and I actually told you how to use it. But if you haven't checked that video out, go and check it out because it'll actually explain how it works and stuff. So, I'll tell you how to download it again. So let's go here and go to uh, pytksx3.python. Copy this. We go back here. Uh, we go to the terminal, paste, and install it. See, Carmen already satisfied. It'll take longer for you. And yeah, so let's go ahead and import it here. Import uh, py ttsx3. And then we need to create the, uh, the engine again. Engine equals py dot init. So it's going to initialize all the components of the Python text-to-speech editor into the engine and then remember we're going to define the talk function text and then engine dot say text engine dot run and wait so we define talk and now we can basically make alexa say so here let's say talk command to talk the command and we also might want it to talk hello i am alexa and then talk what can what can I do for you? Okay, so now let's run it. Oh, yeah, we gotta put what can I do? See now hello. See, because we didn't say Alexa. That's when it is. Hello, I am Alexa. What can I do for you? Alexa, hello. Alexa. See, it repeated it back to me. So how cool is that? We got down another part of Alexa, uh, understanding what we say and giving it back, actually talking to us. So the next thing that we have to do is like, uh, we're mostly done. Now what we have to do is make Alexa do things for us, like play a video, play a song, get information from this website, do this and do that. So let's do that. 
Okay, so I basically just cleaned it up a little bit because I didn't want it to become too clumsy before we actually do the functions. So I took out talk, hello, I'm Alexa, and what can I do for you? And if Alexa, and I also, and you, and you don't want Alexa to say Alexa again, but it's talking back to you. So you have to do command equals command dot replace Alexa with just spaces. And yeah, do that. And then after that, you can actually make all of this a function. So let's just add all of this. And then tab, and then tab. And then we can call this define maybe take command. And yeah. So this is gonna be called take command. And now we can actually make our run Alexa command, but we have to do return command. Okay, so return command, it's just basically gonna give us the feedback. And then let's define a function called run Alexa to actually run it. Run Alexa. And then in that row, the first thing that we want to do is do command equals take command. Because we want all the things that we define take command uh, in Alexa. And then we're going to do song equals, and we don't want it to, and then let's just say print playing, and we also want it to talk playing. And then what we're going to do is create this thing, a song variable, so song equals uh, song equals command dot replace I'm gonna do what I did with Alexa play play with uh, just these uh, things so then we're gonna go down here and do plus song and then Plus song. So let's try it. Oh yeah, we have to actually run it here. We have to place it here. Run Alexa. Play. I don't know. Play. Wait, okay, let's, what, so let's, uh, okay. Play what's poppin'. Play what's poppin'. See, it will say playing what's poppin' and add that there. So now uh, we actually want to play it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this thing, uh, Chrome, and we're going to search up Pi what kit. Python. So pywhatkit slash python. And we're gonna copy this. Go to our uh, terminal. We're gonna paste it. And requirement already satisfied for me. It might take a little bit longer for you. But if you have any trouble downloading some of these, uh, if you have any trouble downloading these libraries, do pip install pip win, and then do pip win install the library you want to do. Like for example, pip win install speech recognition. Did I spell that right? Recog mission. And I, I already downloaded it, but that might work for you. Uh, that's just a suggestion. And yeah. 
And after we downloaded the Pi Bucket, uh, we need to import it. So import Pi Bucket. And then we're gonna go down here and do pi what dot play on YouTube song. So yeah, let's try it out. Uh what's a good song? Play mood. You will go to YouTube and the YouTube video comes up. So, yeah, uh, that's what Pi What Kit does. It's really cool. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is try to ask Alexa the time. But before that, I'm going to add two different ones. Uh, if, so first we're going to do else, because if we don't do anything that the that Alexa knows how to do, we have to say, we have to let the user know. So else print, sorry, I could and understand. I could and understand. Can you repeat? So it will say sorry, and then it will talk that. So sorry, I couldn't understand. Can you repeat? And then it will talk the same thing. Copy. Paste so okay. So now let's go up here and oh yeah. Before that, we need to do something else. L if and we we have to say if we're greeting the Alexa, it has to greet us back. So hello in command. Uh, print. Hello, what can I do for you? And then talk the same thing. Hello, what can I do for you? Okay, so now we can actually ask Alexa the time. We have to go up here and import date time. I already did it here but you can go ahead and do it now so and then okay let's do it and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do elif time and command print oh yeah before this we need to actually do time equals date time dot date time dot now dot strf time that means it's gonna convert it it's only gonna give us the hours and yeah and then we're gonna do if you want a 24 hour scale time then you have to do percentage h if you want just 12 hour time you have to do percentage i so percentage i i want percentage i so i'm gonna do that and uh m and then if you want AM or PM, just do percent P. And then we just want to print the time. And then we just want to talk the time. So let's run it. What is the time? 4.39 p.m. Uh, you guys might have not heard that. And you guys might have not heard what the Alexa, it's repeating back to me for the past 
couple of things that I was doing. Uh, sorry about that, but just keep on watching because I'm going to use a different editor and uh, and then you can hear it more clearly. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to ask, I'm going to say hello to Alexa. Hello. Hello. And now if I just say something that it doesn't understand. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. See, it does that. So that's really cool. And then next, what we're going to do is import Wikipedia. And like maybe the user wants to get something from like Wikipedia and understand something about a person. So let's do that. So what you basically just have to do is uh, you can maybe just search up Wikipedia here. I already searched it up and I got it. And you just have to copy this. Go here and then go to terminal and then paste and then and then download it so yeah for me it says requirement already satisfied uh it's most likely different for you but yeah that's okay so then we're gonna go up here and import it i already did it import wikipedia so go do that and then we have to create it l if l if uh say who is if you want to know about the person who is in command and then we're going to create a variable called the person person equals command dot replace and then we're going to do who is with just these and then we're going to do uh info equals wikipedia dot summary because we want the summary on the person and do person and you can specify the number of sentences you want from it i'm just going to do one sentence but you can do one two three etc and then we're going to print the info and then we're going to talk the info okay so uh, before we run it I also added who was because the person might have died and we also want to add uh, if the person asks about an event so let's do L if what is or what was in command and then we're going to do event because that's what we're talking about command dot replace oh yeah we also have to do who is um let's also add person equals command dot replace who was with okay there we go and now we're going to do the same thing for this what is and Okay, there we go. Now what we need to do is do the same thing. Uh, let's call. I'm gonna call it result because we don't want info and in, we don't want it to get confused. Wikipedia dot summary uh, event. I'm gonna do two because and then. We're gonna do print 
resolve and talk resolve. And there we go. So now let's run this. What is the World Cup? The 2018 FIFA World Cup is So you might have not heard that, but it basically told me about the 2018 World Cup. And yeah, that's what you can do with uh, what is and what was. So yeah, it's really cool. But uh, if you want it to be better, you might want to change these two into two separate ones. I'm just doing it to make it more simpler and not more efficient. Uh, more it's like simple simplicity over efficiency so so the next thing that we're gonna do is so we're basically gonna make alexa do two more things the first thing is tell us a joke and the second thing is like search something up uh actually we can just make alexa do search something up because we don't we need to download anything extra for that so let's go here and do l if search up in command we're gonna do uh let's do re results i don't think that will interfere so results equals command dot replace uh search up search up with okay this and then what we need to do is we're basically gonna do uh pi what we're gonna do print search and we're gonna talk searching plus a result or we can just call this search search plus search and then we can do the same thing here searching okay there we go and then pi what kit we already downloaded that dot search search okay so i'm gonna go ahead and run it Search up football Patriots team. The 2007 season was the New England Patriots so season in the National Football League. The 48th. So yeah. So yeah. So now we're gonna make a uh, it tells jokes. So let's do out if joke. And I really don't understand some of these jokes, but some of those people who understand computers and a lot more code might understand it. So what we're gonna do is go here, uh, go to Pi Jokes. Pi Jokes, P-Y. And we're gonna copy this. Go back down here, go to our terminal, paste, and then install. The comment already satisfied for me. Probably not the same for you. And then we're gonna, and we want 
to keep on running Alexa. We don't want it to just do it once and then just stop. So while true, so it's gonna keep on running. And then let's go up here. Okay, so let's go up here and import by jokes. And then we're gonna go down here back to joke and we're gonna do joke equals. And before we talk about this, uh, you should understand that I made some corrections to the who is and what is because it was giving me some problems and I just changed it to who is and what is back. So if you still have it as before, make sure to change it back because the other one had some issues and it wasn't really working. So here we're gonna do pie jokes. Uh, dot get joke. So it's gonna get a joke, and then we have to print print the joke, and then talk the joke. Okay, so some of you may not understand these jokes. I certainly don't. So let's run. Tell me a joke. A product manager walks into a bar. Okay, that made no sense, <laughs> but okay, some of you may have understand that. I'm pretty sure it's like a coding joke, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go over all the functions again, because I wasn't sure if you guys heard it. I'm going to put a lot of volume, and yeah. Hello. Hello, what can I do for you? Tell me the time. 5.29 p.m. Who is Ronaldo? Ronaldo is a human being. Who is Tom Brady? Oh, it, it doesn't recognize Tom Brady for some reason. What is the World Cup? A World Cup is a global sporting event. See, it says, it told me about the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Search up Tom Brady. Searching Tom Brady. See, we'll go, see, it's gonna go to Google. And it tells us the latest news about Tom Brady and what he is and about him. So now let's go back. Sorry. Tell me a joke. Doesn't make sense. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. And finally, play mood. Play again, finally. Bruh. That is something, huh? Uh, okay. Let me... Play mood. Play mood. It goes and it plays the song. So yeah, that was Alexa for you. It's really cool. Show your friends. Whenever you get bored, you can play with it. And yeah. Well, that was it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Uh, I hope you liked learning to make Alexa. It's really cool. Maybe you can make your own voice recognition bot. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.